thank Joseph Weidenholzer and many other colleagues for speaking on this issue, which sadly does not reach mainstream Western media. I've been working with civil society groups from Ogaden in Ethiopia, and it was important for me to speak out on the situation, as there has been no level playing field for opposition voices. Ethiopia will have its elections next week without an EU election observation mission and this is happening while the government cracks down on journalists and civil society, persecuting the Ogaden, Omoro and other ethnic groups targeting women and children. Rape and torture have been systematically used to spread fear and the Ogaden region is effectively under government embargo. Meanwhile, Ethiopia is the fourth largest recipient of EU aid and receives 45% of its budget through foreign aid. So the EU must make a clear public, public statement outlining its concerns about the upcoming elections before May 24th, making clear its commitment to human rights and democracy in solidarity with the people of Ethiopia. It must also ensure that EU aid money is not being used or implicated in ethnic persecution and human rights violations. A more secure and peaceful Ethiopia must not come at the price of human rights abuses or sham elections with no healthy opposition. Uh,